It's the Halloween special. Frankie, are you ready for the Halloween special? Uh, uh. Happy Halloween to everybody out there. We hope you're having a really good holiday and hope that you're getting your freak on out uh. there. <laughs> Today's episode is going to be really incredible. We are going to be doing lip cups with cauldrons. Ooh, are you ready for this? No. <laughs> and, and also, we're going to be having in a couple of episodes a viewer's choice episode. So if you would, in the comments below, if you would just go ahead and list out three colors and two different styles of pores, and we will be doing those for the viewer's choice episode. No. We will pick one up at random, pick one out at random for this episode. So, are we ready to begin? No. <laughs> All right, everybody, let's get this episode started. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. You've seen us do colander paws, now we're doing cauldron paws. So, in this Halloween special, we're going to be painting side by side. Dr. Frankenstein here has picked his Frankenstein. own... Frankenstein. <laughs> Frankenstein. Dr. Frankenstein here has picked his own colours. You were waiting for me to say that. I, I was. Can say <laughs> He's going to put them into his cauldrons first. Then I will show you my colours, put them into my cauldron second. He'll tilt it, and then I'm going to tilt it. Yes. So, Dr. Frankenstein, <laughs> why don't you take us through your colours? Yes. So, my colours today are the Folk Arts Fire Opal Red, uh, Orange. Red, orange, green, purple. <laughs> oh, just fire opal. Just fire opal. Uh-huh. Orange. And that's this one right here, which I love. Beautiful. My favorite color. And we have the Goldens Naples Yellow. Super Ooh, cool. Love it. And then we have the Goldens Teal. Love Ooh. it. And then we have the Blick Acrylic Black. Now, I've noticed you're not moving your arms an awful lot there. Is it because they're so muscular and you're having trouble? Well, my arms are suit. very restricted in the suit. <laughs> very straight. That's why I'm like this. That's hilarious. Well, imagine that with a load of green paint on your face. Right. I know, right? Go, go for it, Dr. Frankenstein. Let's see you layer those cauldrons and flip them on your canvas. Yes. So, the layering of the cauldrons. I got three of them right here. Whoa. I know. And let's see here. What color do I want to put first? I am going to do. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> For, uh, the monster is. Frankenstein's monster is really playing with all the prompts here. Uh, I'm going to do black first. I wish you guys could see through these, so that way you can see me actually layering the colors. They can't, that's why you're gonna do it fairly quickly. Exactly, exactly. So Naples yellow. And they can kind of see, and they can see in the top for sure. Yeah. I'm doing the teal. This is such a beautiful color. So you're not really doing this dirty, you kind no. of are trying to do a layer in there, I right? am trying to do a layer, yes. And we figured out that these things hold about three to four ounces of paint, so if we're going to do three of them on the canvas, then they definitely don't need to be filled. That's for sure. Yeah. Then I'm doing the fire opal. You know what, I think I'm gonna do black and then fire opal. Yeah? Yeah. Why did you pick these colors? Uh, to me, they're very Halloween. Okay. 
It's a very similar palette to what I've got. It's very, yeah, they're very Halloween colors to me. Right. can see it. Gloves are hard to move the, with. Move this. Yeah, it's like really interesting. The fingers don't fit right. The, they flare out. Your cups look beautiful on the inside. Well, thank you. Whoa. I'm going to use a little bit of this flow extender in here. Huh? You've got maybe you've not got any more black left. No. It's a different consistency. I have some um, more black mixed. You do? You said you didn't need a lot of black. No, it's a, I don't, but I need a little just a touch more. Okay. Here you go. Don't mix your consistencies, people at home. If you want to hold that, yeah. I can do this. Because there's a little bit more in here that I can scrape out. There we go. All right. I think that is going to be it. Okay. Let me move the flow extra out of the way. Just a little bit more. <laughs> Why not? Why not? I got the paint. Why not go for it? This one seems to have the most, so I'm going to uh, do this one in the middle. Okay. You ready to flip? I am ready to flip. All right, then you go for it. All right. These clothes are making it really difficult. <laughs> The colors look great. <laughs> All right, now let me get to layering. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to start with my black, which is the same black. It's the Blick Acrylic Black, which you've just seen Jeremy pour. Next up is my gold. This time I'm using the 24 karat Extreme Sheen metallic uh, paint from DecoArt, um, which is, uh, I'm told, a tad different than the eight ounce bottle that we normally get. So that's the gold. Next in with, this is Golden's Permanent Violet Deep. Next in 
with some goldens, iridescent pearl white. Watch your sleeves in that paint over there, Mr. Monster. Thank you. I don't want you knocking over your curl on one of your paint cups. And then finally, we've got the Quinacridone Orange Burnt by Goldens. My colors will be fine, right? Yes, it's better that they sit, in fact. And then just maybe a smaller layer on top of all the colors again. So that's the black. The gold. The purple. The white. And then the orange. Okay, here we go. All right. Nice, that was a great flip. This one. And then finally this one. All right. Release the beast. Can I go like any direction? Whichever way you want. Oops. Oh. Or that too. Or that too. That's like a flip, flippity flip and drag. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start tilting this bad boy because walking it down, let's walk it down, walk it down, walk it down, off the canvas, off the canvas this way. happening over here. Just wanted to get some of this off over here. Nice. Let's see here. Here. What are my edges doing? I'm just making sure that the edges. Okay. I just think I have a lot of paint left. I kind of like it actually. You know what? I think it's perfect. Yeah? Yeah. Do you want a torch? Yes. I think you should wear those gloves all the time. <laughs> Ooh, that Naples yellow underneath is like popping out. Yeah, it is. All right. Ooh, that's super cool. You wanna move it up a little bit? Yeah, sure. Wow. Wow, that's really awesome. I really like that, actually. I do too, I'm I, in love I love that. the black and the fire opal together. It's got so you've got some really awesome cells in there. Do you want to take him in for a quick close up? Sure. Okay, let's do it.
Well, all right, so you've just seen Jeremy's beautiful piece there. Now, let me get to flipping. I'm gonna pull up my monstery sleeve. Okay. We definitely didn't need this flow extender. We both filled these cauldrons so high. Okay, let me first torch this real quick. And then, ladies and gentlemen, it's tilted time. Okay, let's take this off. Dry ice is going crazy. It is going crazy. Your colors are really beautiful. Thank you. This corner is really good over here. It's definitely Halloween-y. It looks like a pulsating blood bowl. I think it's gorgeous. Okay. I love it. I think I'm done. I don't think there's anything else I want to, I don't want to stretch this out anymore. I think I've got just the right amount of paint on here. If anything, let me just see. No, this is perfect. My only worry was that there was still a lot of paint left on the canvas, but there isn't. It's the mm -hmm. perfect amount of paint. Okay, let me just wipe my hands off real quick. If you could pass me the torch, please, Dr. Frankenstein. Frankenstein. And as yours has been sitting, look how much yours has sold up. I know, it's sold up. Your colors are amazing. If this was a Who Did It Better, you would win easily. Well, so. I don't know. I really love your colors. Okay. Let me quickly get my edges, please. And then would you take them in for a close up of my canvas? Absolutely. Thank you, let's do that. All right, guys, there you have it. The Halloween episode. But wait one minute, watch this. Speak! And now you can't shut me up. See, you shouldn't have taught me to speak. I could have been mute the whole time and then you could have got a word in edgeways. Dang it. Anyway, people, thank you so much for joining us for this quick, down and dirty Halloween pour. Yes. This was a lot of fun for us to do, so we hope that you super enjoyed it too. 
everyone out there be safe have a very happy halloween yes um please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video <laughs> this has been a massy art studio you've been a lot of fun we've really yes. enjoyed this please yes. like and subscribe and come back and see us next episode thanks everyone bye guys so now it's time to spank the patreon it is time to spank the patreons and who are the patreons well they're a really special bunch of people yes who've decided to come and follow us outside of the youtube channel it says a completely separate account and people can opt into different tiers. Yeah, absolutely. And those different tiers allow people different rewards. Uh -huh. So for example, at one level, there's behind the scenes pictures and videos and sneak peeks of what we do in the studio. Uh -huh. And then at another level, there is a once a month live stream exclusively just for those yeah. gold level patrons. And then at another level, they also get a once a month live tutorial. Yes. Where we might might take an individual technique and walk through it step by step by step by step. So we really appreciate these guys because they're coming to us and supporting us outside of the channel. It means an awful lot to it us. It does mean a lot to us. So we have some thank yous. And at that gold level, we have, we have Trisha West, we have Terry Leshner, we have Tammy Housebrook, we have Stephanie Hancock, we've got Sharon Luffy, the wonderful pocket rocket Patsy Petrelli. <laughs> We've got Nate Bright Art. We've got Mamadoulas. We have Linda Serieni. We've got Kelly Stowell of Feral Arts. Yeah. We've got Jane Klein and Gloria Salaki. We have Gillian Kennedy yes. of Bell's Creations. We have Elizabeth Giuliano. We have Kathy J. And we have Amy, AKA Crafty Chicken Mom. Yes. And? And then on our platinum level, we have Susan Shepherson, Susan Chigori, Judith Jones Art, we have Janice Pittman, and we have Elaine Burton. Oh my gosh, we all know and love and has been with us pretty much from day one. Yes as most of you have so thank you so very much for being with us yes we really genuinely do appreciate you and your support it allows us the opportunity to keep painting and keep doing fun stuff for you guys mm -hmm. so thank you so very much thank you very much and to everyone else that's down here below we honestly can't thank you enough it really does mean the world to us so thanks guys 